Louisiana Beer Reviews Blue Moon Winter Wheat Duo Review. Now, I did a solo review, and um, I, you said you'd be interested in doing this. Oh, yeah. I love Blue Moon generally, and, you know, I, I see some appealing spices there, and I tend to really love, like, festive, wintry flavors, like a like I talked to you about mulled wine or like a good mulled cider or like ugh, any of that kind of stuff. Holiday punch, fruit cake. Oh yeah. It's a spiced Abbey Ale brewed with ginger, cinnamon, and orange peel. But then they also mm -hmm. tell you that mm -hmm. it's mace. See, mace and orange peel. So they give yeah. you different description. Hmm. So they forgot to put mace over here. All right, anyway. It's or maybe they didn't want to put... Maybe because that sounds like such a weird ingredient, they didn't want to put that like right on the front of the bottle, you know? It's on the other side. Yeah, but you know, how many people read? Not probably as many people. This is certified kosher, and the best buy date is April 1st, 2019. No fooling. Okay. Get it April 1st. Oh. No fooling. All right. Um, okay. Winter wheat. Here we go. Um, it was introduced in 2018. I thought it was a rebrand of an old beer they used to make, and then one of my viewers, Gabriel Salai, said, no, it's a different recipe, and it's got a different ABV. I Do said, they okay. tend to release a new uh, winter beer every year, like some of the brands do, or no? Well, no, they just kind of like put stuff out, and then maybe they'll reformulate it, or they just sometimes might rename it. Well, that is a nice color. I feel like I can already smell it. Where? you spilling beer all over me? That's Oh, fine. sorry. They have this locally here and I also you got it at Matherns? Oh gosh, I already like it. I didn't buy it at Matherns. I didn't hand. buy it at Matherns because they only had the twelve packs and I wanted to just get a six pack and they had that at at um mm. a store called Winter Beer for some winter weather. Kenseiko's. Kenseiko's on Metairie Road. Okay. Oh okay. So mm. The head, if I poured it straight in, in one glass, the head would be thick, right, really mm -hmm. thick and off-white, I noticed when I did the solo. Now it is, what is that color, brown or tan or copper? There is a, because there's a red, a reddishness, I would call, I would say this is a, a mahogany. Yeah. You know, because it's more, it's richer than copper. Right. So I, I, I would think of like a mahogany wood type of thing. And like I said, I should have used the blue moon glasses, but, because I'm using Anna's and Bush glasses, but I didn't want to, um, they're Lazy. hard to clean. Didn't yeah. want to clean them. Sad. I was Sad. at work. I'm tired. Okay. The sun is behind those trees, so we're not getting the best light. I can't you know what? It'll stop be all these tall trees. It'll be fine. Okay. And this is a really just a really nice color. Yeah. I, that's very appealing, and I can already smell it. And it's so new, they don't even have any listing of it on the website. It's been going on for like two or three weeks. Now Win Dixie has this, I noticed a twelve pack for thirteen ninety nine. So they got the lowest price right now. It smells like a spiced cake, you know. Yeah, like a spiced holiday season cake. Mm. Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. Yes. yes, I love it. I love it. I'm ready. I love the holidays. I want to put my tree up, although my cat's peeing on everything right now because he's sick. So, okay, it might be worth the risk because I love Christmas. Time to listen to the Sufjan Stevens Christmas albums. I look forward. I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow night. Uh, you know, I love Christmas. Um, even though there's usually some pretty awful, you know, I mean the, you know, we don't need to talk about capitalism, but like, I'm like, yes, give it to me. Give me the Christmas carols in the mall. Give me the Christmas themed Coca-Cola commercials. Like I am. Yeah. Well, this is kind of a result of it. capitalism in yes. a way. Consumerism. Right. I will consume this beer. Ready. I'm, I'm a free enterprise advocate, mm. but I'm not necessarily a, well, I don't want to get into all the politics. Okay. Would you say that, oh, I forgot to tell you, I learned, I just learned about Red Star Superman, Red Dawn Superman, Red Horizon Superman, what's he called? I don't know. Do you know what I'm talking about? Not quite. It's a Superman series where it's a alternate reality where he landed 12 hours later, so he oh, landed no, in I Russia. I don't know anything about that. I don't know anything about it. Okay. Can we taste this? I don't want to. I don't want to read the fake stories. I want to read the real fake stories. I mean, they're like all. I know. I was about to say. <laughs> not the fake fiction. The real fake. They reboot canon constantly in the not in graphic novels. You know. That's for sure. Okay. So the taste. Ooh, I really. The orange is really there. Orange peel. Definitely the weedy. Is, is this a wheat beer? Yeah. It's made yeah. Of wheat. The weediness 
is actually very m more foregrounded. Like I was expecting, because ginger is usually such a kick. I was expecting maybe more more ginger right off the bat. It hmm. must be red wheat. It must be red wheat. <laughs> My friend David didn't want to review this because he said wheat beers mess his stomach up, like make him feel sick. I said, okay. Oh yeah, I have to be careful with things like that cream Ellie you got me. I'm gonna take some lactate pills. Or the, the cream, um, the Liqueur. Irish. Yeah, yeah, not cream ale, that's very different. But you know, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not lactose intolerant. I'm sort of lactose insensitive, but I mean, I love my life. I mean, lactose sensitive. I'm just, yeah. If you're insensitive, it wouldn't matter. Well, I'm insensitive to my own lactose sensitivity. Yeah. I'm just. Um, the body's a little on the heavy side, like high, medium. Mm -hmm. It's got some chewiness. But it's not too dark. You know, I like it, but I really wish I was getting more of those spices. Oh yeah. I I I I, I can't really hardly taste like the the ginger. I think the spices are in the background. You get the the orange peel, the bitterness from the orange peel, and the um, yeah, but. They, they didn't, it makes me they, think of like an orange roll or something. Yeah, they didn't overload the spices, but maybe I've heard people complain about that in reviews. Like, it tastes just like a bunch of spices. So maybe they were saying, maybe, okay, maybe like they were that, sensitive though. to that. I want some cardamom. I want some ginger. Like well, a, oh, like a, like a good chai, you know? Remember that Blue Moon horchata that we tried? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Didn't we drink a chai tea beer? Something. something like that. You had the uh, Sierra Nevada Around the World 12 pack and they had that chai spice. Yeah, it wasn't a 12 pack. I, they had singles at Mathurin. Oh, you bought yeah. singles, yeah. yeah that I bought was the good. whole 12 pack. The chai was good. I also had the English, they had like an English pudding or an English toffee or yeah, something. Yeah, something like that. I'm talking about those were good. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think about this? What score would you give this? You know, I mean, I don't want to be unfair, but... <laughs> Not unfair if you score it the way you see it. I know. You know, for me and my expectations, like, for a beer like this that purports to be full of these, like, holiday spices, I do want more of the spice, personally. Um, the orange is nice. The body is nice. I mean, it's a real nice beer. Just based on the advertising, it's not, like... It doesn't meet my expectations of what I want. Let me see the bottle again. Winter wheat, okay, spice, spice abbey, abbey ale. ale, brewed with ginger, cardamom. Yeah, I don't, you know, I'm gonna give it an A minus, I guess. Okay, I went with a solid A because I don't really love when it's overly spiced, but you might be into the big This spices. isn't even medium, but this isn't, like, it doesn't have to be overly. I just it's would like. It's kind of low profile, yeah. I want to be able to detect the ginger you get and a the lot cardamom. Of, yeah, they're, they're all you know? mixed together, and you get a lot of brown bread crust with this, don't you? Yeah, yeah, and I just. I'm, I'm not saying it needs to be like overwhelming, like I'm chewing on like crystallized ginger or anything. I just think I would like a little more. Okay. You know, so if you come across any beers like that, I would, I'm looking forward to December. I would love to review some more holiday brews with yeah, you. Yeah, I'm going to see. I'm going to see what I can find. Go to World Market. They have a lot of new stuff. I was thinking about going over there, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about going over there this I'll weekend. poke around because, you know, Alabama has so many local breweries. From Ted, might have mm -hmm. a winter warmer. I can poke around. There's a lot. So, um. You're saying lower end of Left excellent. Hand. You're saying lower end of excellent. I'm saying mm -hmm. straight up excellent. But anyway, but most I'm saying most excellent. Yeah. So we're going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana and wear this shirt. I don't know what you're trying to say. Wear this shirt. I don't know. I'm just World Tide. Giving you, giving you a hard time. World Tide. All right. I had an Alabama shirt I was going to bring you, but I said, no, I'm not going to do that to him. It wouldn't bother me. I mean, it's not your problem that Alabama's always beating LSU in football. That's LSU's problem. It's like, I do not like football. I think it's, well, I, I'm not a fan. I'm not going to go into it. Um, but, like, any time UA plays LSU, I'm like, roll tide, yes, champions. Like, I'm, <laughs> you know, Yay. winner. I'm not used to being on the winning team. Then we played Alabama Birmingham once, the little small Alabama, and they beat LSU. So it's like, it doesn't end. Uh,